Hey everyone, this is Julie and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. As you can see from the title, this overview will be fully about the dynamic link widget. So I will walk you through its main features and show you how to use it for adding permalinks to the post or the information from the meta fields. The dynamic link widget by the Jet Engine plugin is available for CPTs, CCTs, posts, pages, etc. With the help of this widget, you can add links that display content from the predefined source. By the way, if you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that so you don't miss our videos. Now let's start with the Content tab and Source drop-down menu that allows selecting where the link will be taken from. The permalink option, if selected, allows making the CPT's title clickable with a redirection to the CPT item single page from a listing page. This option works with the title macro. Besides, permalink also lets you make any CPT's field clickable with a redirection to the CPT item single page from the listing page. Right now, the excerpt field is selected as the custom field for redirection. In the same way, you can transform it into a button by changing the label accordingly. A delete current post link source allows you to delete the post and also allows the use of the macro for page redirection. Once selected, there will be also the following options. The confirm deletion message text area is intended for typing the message text. For example, are you sure you want to delete this post? Users can be redirected to another page when they confirm the deletion. Type or copy the URL of that page to the redirect after delete field. To redirect the user to the current page, you can use the current page URL macro. The delete post type drop-down menu defines if the post will be moved to trash or deleted permanently. The Jet Appointments Booking Add Booking to Google Calendar and the Jet Booking Add Booking to Google Calendar options Add to Google Calendar button on the page. These options work with the Jet Appointment or Jet Booking plugins and the additional plugins such as Zapier or Make installed and activated. Add to Store slash Remove from Store allows users to add or remove some items to or from a specified store like wishlist or favorites page in the select store drop-down menu. The options setting works on the options pages developed by the Jet Engine plugin. After choosing this type of link, you will see the additional drop-down menu option. The link will be taken from the value of the meta field you select in the options drop-down list. The profile page option allows you to redirect to the account or user single subpage chosen from the profile page drop down menu. Additionally, it allows the macros to display data associated with the used CPT. Other meta fields. If you have already created some meta fields, they will be automatically displayed on the list. When users choose one of them, the link will be taken from the value of that meta field. Moreover, if you want to pull the link out of a custom post, enter the ID of this post in the custom meta field slash repeater key text area. Now let's move on to the label. This field is intended for adding a name to the links. Additionally, it allows usage data from meta fields by pressing the dynamic tag and selecting the appropriate field, term, taxonomy, and more. If enabled, the add query argument toggle gives access to adding arguments 
to the links URL. It turns on the Query Arguments field with the preset Query Argument for the macros listed in the Label field. In this way, the front-end view of the post looks like this. Also, fill in the URL prefix field, add the typed text to the URL shown on the front-end. Of course, you can always add an icon to the dynamic link by choosing it from the icon library or uploading an SVG file. In case of Add to Store option, you can set one more icon that will be shown once the item is added to Favorites. The same way works the Add it to Store text. Besides, the HTML wrapper drop-down menu allows choosing the needed HTML wrapper markup for the link and the next toggle, if enabled, opens the linked page in a new window. The rel attribute defines the relation between the page a user is on now and the one they open with the link. The following drop-down menu allows choosing the label attribute to the link by pressing the dynamic tag. This attribute is visible to screen readers only. In addition, you can change the alignment and make the field hidden if it's not filled. The last one here, Context drop-down menu, works with the source field and allows specifying the source of the link. For example, let's assume you choose permalink in the source field. Now, if in the context you will select the default object option, the URL will lead to the page of the single item. And if you choose current user, the URL will lead to the page of the user you're currently logged in to. The style settings include the general tab with the typography, background, colors of the text and icon, padding, margins, border type, width and more to make it match your website theme. And that's how everything can look like when it is styled. And just like with the any other widget, the advanced settings depend on the installed and activated plugins and lets you customize the layout, then change order and width, manage visibility conditions, create cool effects with jet tricks and more. This will be it for today's overview. And now you know everything about Dynamic Link Widget. If you still have any questions, you can check our detailed guide. The link will be available in the description. And give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and as always, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.